I think the Hi-Fi Audio DSP is popular because, uh, first of all, it's a very efficient engine. It achieves small area and very low power, but high throughput on the audio codecs. And the second reason is that we have such a broad set of available codecs for the platform. It's uh, more than 80 codecs, uh, a broader cross-section of the key codecs for uh, dual-channel and multi-channel uh, audio processing for both handset and living room applications. And by having such a broad set of, of codecs available, it means that every customer has what they need instantly already optimized. And that just makes it an easy solution and an efficient solution. The big challenges in the move to LTE Advanced are number one, it's a big step up in the performance level required in the physical layer processing, in layer one DSP processing. Uh, it is, uh, depending on which version of LTE Advanced, you know, two to five times more computation involved in the user equipment and perhaps more than 10 times more performance required in infrastructure equipment compared to LTE. And that means that you need to scale the performance by having much higher performance DSPs and other engines. On the flip side, the power budget is not going up. And so that you have the challenge of doing much more compute in uh, still a very small power budget, you know, 100, 200 milliwatts of power for a UE. And that's very difficult. It means that you have to have the flexibility, the programmability, but you have to do it with very low uh, power per operation. And uh, I think that what Tensilica is doing is creating much more efficient general purpose DSPs and creating a continuum of engines that serve the specific requirements for these cellular standards like LTE Advanced so that you have the right processing for the front end DSP, for the soft stream processing, for the bit stream processing, for the forward error correction processing, and the means to couple them all together into complete programmable subsystems. So this ability to have uh, more efficiency and higher absolute throughput with things like our BBE64 and to be able to rapidly compose systems out of a set of coordinated cores so that there's a, both the hardware that you need and the layers of software on top of that that are required to get into the market quickly. The data plane processor is a term for all of the kinds of computationally intensive engines that you need inside of modern system on chip to do the wireless processing, the audio, the video, the imaging, the security processing, the protocol processing uh, for high throughput, real time, data intensive computation in an SOC platform. It often is complementary to the control or applications CPU, which may be supervising the overall activities. But the heavy lifting of that platform is typically in the data plane, and the data plane processors are the programmable engines. Audio, video, baseband DSPs, security engines, protocol processors that make up that fabric of intensive computation. It's quite simple to customize a Tensilica core, and there are different forms of configurability. One form of configurability is simply to use the processor generator user interface and select from the menu exactly what features you need. There are, in fact, hundreds of choices of memory subsystem configuration, of instruction set features, of interfaces, and uh, system control peripherals, which are all just point and click options. And just from that interface, you can create millions of different variations of the same uh, standard family of Tensilica processors. On top of that layer of configurability, there's extensibility 
where you, the architect, have specific ideas about what interfaces or what uh, instructions you would like to add into the processor on top of the standard features that we offer. And there, there's a simple language. It's a variant of Verilog, which allows you to concisely describe what new operations you want included into the processor hardware and into the compiler, debugger, uh, operating system software environment. And even that is a very simple mechanism where in a few minutes you can describe entirely new operations new data types that are then available for the programmer and which appear seamlessly in the hardware, the compilers, the debuggers, and all the rest of the representations of the processor. So in just a few minutes, you can configure and extend one of these processors with a guarantee that it will both support the application and be very robust and complete and correct by construction.